Assemble started about um, 2009 and it was very informal, so we um, knew each other from university. Um, one time we um, started to talk about doing a project kind of as, a, as an idea, which gradually developed into a real thing, um, and that was the Cinerolium in 2010. Um, and since then really we grew as an organisation, like more formally, but it was never the intention to set up something together. Uh, it kind of was a bit random. Yeah, when we did our first couple of projects, um, we didn't really analyse them very much beforehand, like, you know, what does it mean to do something temporary? What does it mean to do this? Uh, we kind of just did it. I think it was really great at the time for us as a way of learning and building our relationships and just learning how things are built, really. But I think now that we've developed as a practice, we don't, I guess, it's not the same for us to do those kind of things anymore. We've really just uh, enjoyed being able to make something. It's not always the whole building, it could be like a prototype for a test of something. Um, but I feel like we collectively believe that that is an interesting way into design and that we can get really interesting results from that. And I think it's also just enjoyable, you know, it's good to break up your day and not always be in the front of the computer. Um, and I don't think we necessarily call ourselves craftsmen because you know, most people in Assemble aren't necessarily very good or like <laughs> haven't, we haven't got a fine technique honed down but we um, try things out and we try and work with specialists and um, yeah, play around. So around 2013 we were approached um, uh, by a developer to help um, regenerate one of the streets in Granby in Liverpool which has been neglected for uh, you know, decades. And um, while that project never happened, it never materialised, we met um, the Community Land Trust, who were a um, you know, self-organised group who were trying to uh, renovate the streets in, those, uh, in that area of Granby. And we got to know them and um, you know, they wanted to regenerate and um, convert 10 houses um, into family homes and also just regenerate the area and we've um, been working with them ever since. I think we went in there um, straight away seeing them as experts, you know, they are people who have lived there and um, they've been very active about trying to bring the place, you know, back into uh, full fruition and life and um, so we kind of saw that as an opportunity to learn and to develop the project with them um, and I think that was really important um, in the way that we worked in the area, especially because the projects um, kind of all happened gradually and it wasn't uh, you know, one big master plan that happened straight away. It was kind of learning from things and seeking opportunities and um, adding new things and um, it feels kind of, um, yeah, like there's a real connection. We've been working in uh, New Orleans for the past three years. Uh, we were originally invited by uh, Mona to come and work on this experimental art school that they've been uh, developing there. It's been an interesting process getting to know various communities who are there and trying to equalise the idea of a creative elite, you know, places where um, it's very divided. And so the latest iteration of our involvement has been Material Institute, which is a fashion department we helped set up there. Um, and it's still very much uh, evolving, you know, it's, it's hardly been uh, existing for a year. Like we did a, the pilot last, uh, from October to December last year. You know, it's really great to see it evolve. Working in Assemble is um, kind of project in itself. So, you know, because we started uh, quite organically, it's the organisational structure has been evolving ever since and changing all the time. We definitely really value the anonymity and the opportunities that being in a collective give you because it's really about the project. It's very important for us to to have a system that works for the time that we're in now and you know we've changed systems like multiple times in the last ten, nine years um, and so those things are always evolving and um, I think it's really important for us. Um, it's kind of the core of what makes Assemble. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's necessarily a 
blueprint for other practices, but it's just how we've evolved. Um,